So today I'm going to explore how I can use Midjourney to create an AI app design and that I can then transform into an actual app design inside of Figma or Adobe XD. I will go through just the basics of the workflow that I use to create a real app design of something I created using AI. So firstly, these are some examples that I tried to render. Uh, so I asked this AI to create a beautiful digital art creating mobile app and this is what it generated. It's insane the amount of details that it gets into these designs, like how the hair of the character goes outside the frame, the shadows of the different mockups in just a couple of minutes. Then I asked it to create a colorful stock trading mobile application, and this is what it generated. And lastly, I asked it to create a modern social media app. If you don't know what Midjourney is, uh, it's a tool inside of Discord. You can search for just Midjourney AI and then join the beta. And once you do that, you will go inside of Discord. And because it's inside of Discord, it looks kind of sketchy. Uh, but once you're in the Discord, you will join one of these newcomer rooms. Uh, and once you do that, you will see all these different images that are being rendered. So all, all the images that you do will be public in this chat. And you can see other people's renders as well. So what you first do is that you type slash imagine and then a prompt. And here is where you type in a text and that will describe what type of render you would like. So for me, I type a beautiful app design showcasing recipes for desserts. Then you can add some tags that will describe what it should render. So I want it to be peach color uh, and then I write UI and UX for it to know that uh, it should focus on the UI and the UX aspects of the design. You can add a bunch of different other tags. I don't know all of them, but this works for me. Then I press enter and it's gonna take a while to render. Okay, so now it's done. Uh, this is what I created and it's incredible. I mean, we got four different type of renders here for like four different type of apps. Then I can pick and choose from one of these that I want to be upscaled. And then you will press one of these letters down there. It says U, so U1 is for the top left, U2 is for the top right and so on. Then you can render a higher quality image that you can use in your app design. So once this has been rendered, I just download them. Then I open up Figma, but you can open up any type of uh, UI tool, for example, Adobe XD or Sketch and so on. As mentioned, I won't go through all the details here, uh, but what I did was create just an artboard. Then I will screenshot all of these desserts uh, that are on the app design. And then I will use an image background remover inside of the plugins in Figma. This will allow it to erase the background. So I'll do that to every single one of the images. Then I'll try step by step to recreate the design. Then I will add some real text where it just says nonsense in the renders. I took the freedom to change the position and arrangement here and to make it my design that is more suitable for this type of app. And then I did the same with the second screen, used the screenshotted images, added some text, grouped them, repeated the grid, and then we have the second screen. And now you can start to play around with different animations, for example, pressing one of the desserts in the list, which will transition me into the next screen. And this was everything I wanted to test today. If you could use the AI tool together with uh, the knowledge you have, for example, in Figma or Adobe XD to create something uh, of your own. Let me know if you've tried this yourself and what you think of it. And if you thought this was interesting, be sure to check out the other video I made a couple of weeks ago where I tried product design, poster design, and creating music with the help of AI.